And so now we want to get some reaction. And for who better to talk about this than, of course, Chris Steyerwalt, News Nation political editor and host of The Hill on Sunday. Great to have you here on this very busy Friday. So, Chris, is this what we're thinking? Is it Biden's make or break moment? Well, I think it's broke. Um, Biden could put it back together. And that's sort of the premise that the Biden campaign is implicitly offering their party. We have 10 weeks until the next debate. We can get this race back to the point where we were only losing by a little, right? Give us time and we can put it back together. And then at the next debate on September 10th, we'll do what we meant to do the first time and put the pressure back on Donald Trump. And right now, that looks like a, a real bad bargain, I think, to the Democrats I'm talking to. By the way, do you think that there will be another debate that he'll agree to if tonight maybe doesn't shake up the way that he and his camp are hoping for? Well, if Joe Biden were to decline the second debate that he already agreed to, it would be basically an admission of defeat in the general election. That would mm -hmm. be that would be the same as saying, I, I give. And that's what Democrats are really afraid of, is that there's a moment out there that if they stick with Biden, we get to September or so, about the time of that debate, and the, and the floor just falls out. And if the floor falls out, the reason you're hearing all this pressure from Democrats, Virginia shouldn't be a swing state. New Hampshire shouldn't be a swing state. That's not what these Democrats want to see. And if Biden, if the bottom drops out for Biden, the consequences down ballot for these other Democrats are real, and they're facing the possibility of a Washington in which Republicans control, not just any Republican, but Donald Trump is in the White House. Republicans control both uh, chambers of Congress and conservatives are in control at the Supreme Court. That's not one that Democrats can live with. Well, let's talk about the electoral map for a second. So Biden, he was in Wisconsin today, going to Pennsylvania this weekend. We saw Gavin Newsom campaign for him in Michigan yesterday. These are states that make up the so-called blue wall. How badly does President Biden need to win these states, particularly Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin is the key. Um, if we assume right now that Arizona and Georgia revert to the Republican Party, which would be my assumption, certainly if the election were held today. Wisconsin is the next most Republican state of the seven swing states. It's next in line. And it's the one that Republicans are the most intent on flipping back. If Biden were to lose Arizona, lose Georgia, and lose Wisconsin, Donald Trump's back in the White House. And by the way, I should tell you, it's not just the, this pushback that we're seeing from Democratic lawmakers, right? There's been a very public push from the money from mega donors like C uh, Netflix CEO Reed Hastings telling uh, about urging President Biden to stand down. Is it you got to follow the money? You know, it's one thing for lawmakers to say it, but if the donors are saying something, what does that tell you? Well, these donors have been asked to pony up extraordinary sums of money uh, to keep Biden in this race because they're going to try to bury Donald Trump in an avalanche of spending. If you know that it's not going to work, right, if, if you're admitting defeat by keeping Biden, if that's the sense, that yeah. money dries up and it goes someplace else and it goes to try to save the Senate, it goes to try to save the House, it moves, and the Biden campaign knows it and they can't, they, they can't abide that. So this is a real, I have never seen a crunch moment for this, like this, for a Democratic president, maybe since Bill Clinton, I guess. Uh, in, in the worst moments of his pre-impeachment crisis. Uh, this is on par with what we saw for Donald Trump after January 6th. This is really intense. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.